I can't get on Battlefield 6. I can't get on Black Ops 7. I really want to play because I don't have TPM 2.0. Don't panic. Don't worry. There is an easy way to fix this. A telltale sign that you already have TPM 2.0, or if your device is compatible, is that you have Windows 11. But that's not always a sign, especially if you bought a PC that, say, was pre-built off of somebody you just don't know. And they perhaps installed Windows 11 without TPM, which could possibly happen, because there are workarounds to install Windows 11. Now, TPM 2.0 isn't specific. You don't have to have an AMD device, nor do you have to have an Intel device in order to enable TPM 2.0. What it stands for is Trusted Platform Module. It's just a security chip that helps with encryption, bit locker, and also prevents hacks from playing games such as Battlefield 6. On Intel, it's actually called something a little bit different. It's also called PTT, which stands for Platform Trust Technology. On AMD, it's called FTPM, which is just Firmware Trusted Platform Module. They sound different, they have different names, but really they're all under one umbrella. The first way we're going to check is go into the PC and figure out if you even have TPM. Now, this is what we're going to do here. Now let's go ahead and check if TPM 2.0 is enabled in your system. A good tall indicator is if you have Windows 11, but as I mentioned, it's not always the case. But to make sure, hit Windows R, which will bring up the run box, tpm.msc. You're going to hit enter and as soon as you do you're going to look up here on the top it says tpm management local computer i'll let you know that tpm is ready for use you can clear tpm to remove any ownership and then you'll see the manufacturer name even the version number and the specific version that your pc does have now if you don't see any of this if this doesn't even pop up at all now we're going to have to make sure by checking in into the BIOS, which is what we're going to do next. So you're gonna hit X, you're gonna hit Windows, and now hit the power button and hit restart. As soon as you hit restart, you're going to hit delete or F2. This is gonna be on Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, HROC, any of these customized motherboards, you can hit delete or F2 into getting into the BIOS. If it's HP, hit F10. If it's Dell or even Lenovo, hit F12. When you enter the BIOS, it should look something like this. And the first place you're gonna end up going is over to the advanced side. You're gonna go over to AMD FTPM configuration. And then right here, you should see TPM device selection. Make sure it's under FTPM. See and notice something like this. And then also you want to hit enabled. And after you're done, you can simply hit F10 to exit the BIOS. Or if it's easier for you, you can get, just go to the exit and click save and reset. Now, if you have an Intel system, you want to go to the advanced settings. Then you want to go to security and go to trusted computing. Any indicator of trusted computing is a good indication that that is going to be your TPM module and where it's located. So you're going to look for Intel PTT and then see if it is enabled. And then on AMD systems and with Dell, just go under the security tab and it should be under TPM security or trusted platform module. Enable it, select TPM 2.0. Afterwards, you're going to save and exit and usually you can hit F10 to do that. Now, once you go back in the windows, you're gonna hit Windows R and you're gonna type in TPM.msc. Once you do, you should see this wonderful box that pops up i know it's nothing fancy i know it's not nothing astounding nor beautiful but at least you know 2 p.m tpm 2.0 is on but i can say the more beautiful thing is that you'll be able to play battlefield 6 now if you go into the bios and you don't see any of it now for those who didn't really see any of those options and unable to really reach the option of trying to enable TPM, there could be a couple of these issues. There is certain software out there that can disable your TPM, and which is possible. That's why it's very important for you to update your BIOS. Now typically it's going to be on older devices, usually 2015, at around that era to 2016, you may actually still have TPM 2.0. Make sure to update the BIOS, see if the option does end up popping up, but if it doesn't, then more than likely that your PC could actually be out of date. 
And unfortunately for anything prior to 2015, or if you do not have the option of TPM or you do see TPM, but it's a different version, so it says 1.3, then more than likely you probably have a good chance that you're going to have to upgrade your PC. And unfortunately, we have entered at this time period where you're going to have to upgrade your PC in that one of the most unfortunate ways. The reason why it's important to upgrade to something like TPM 2.0 is it doesn't only allow you to play games such as Battlefield 6. That's just a bonus, really. But it also helps you, protect you from other issues such as hackers, your own personal security, especially if you want to protect your personal information. Now, also a good indication, especially if you have a custom built PC, make sure to check the manual. You can easily check any manual and it'll actually show you if you have the TPM module in there. Most of them are pretty much built in, especially after 2015. So fam bam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is struggling to turn on TPM 2.0, but you know they have it, make sure you share this video with them. And also make sure you join the Discord where you can feel free to ask any tech questions and make sure to join the fam bam membership. It's not much to join at all. And I promise you it's not as costly as a Xbox Game Pass membership. And hopefully, you also join in on our live streams and don't forget to subscribe and join the fan bam and make sure to hit that notification bell for all the latest updates make sure you follow my handle right here as it is the same as my tiktok and ig thank you guys so much for watching this is chris mizo signing out